Yeah, it's gonna take long. Yeah, Jimmy's like, mm mm. I'm gonna have we nothing but a little bit here. of fire. That's as little mm -hmm. of fire as I got. Because we'll I didn't want them lighters. I got a little lighter. That was about three quarters a cup, maybe. Three quarter cup. You saw that? That was I saw super that. precise. More to drink. Well, I think I might put a little bit more in there. Because that's going to want to be good. Yeah, we'll be now, this big. is a sweet wine. If you like to drink it, your food will like it too. That's the way I say. Put a little bit of lemon juice because you know we got them crab claws. I'm going to put a little bit more when I put them in there. I don't want all the crab juice from the bottom, so I'm just going to kind of put these dudes in here. And really, they don't take very long at all. Now, technically, they'd be good just like this, just put a little swamp dust. I add the breadcrumbs just because it's just more to suck off the claw. <laughs> it was just good like that. All right, let me get them seasoned crumbs. Okay, here goes my super precise measurement. I just kind of cover it up. Because that helps soak up the juice and makes everything stick to them claws. Here's some of that heat. Just a little bit. Yeah, we're making a sauce. And believe it or not, that's kind of it. We just put it all together with that wine sauce. Maybe a little extra swamp dust in case I didn't have enough in them crumbs. See how it makes a nice thick sauce that'll stick to them claws? And that is it for this recipe and for our show today. Special thanks to Jimmy Babin for letting us come over and mess up his kitchen. If you want to find the recipes, you go to theoutdoorkitchenshow.com. If you're looking for Jimmy's products, you go to creativecajuncooking.com. And we will see you next week here on the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Thanks for watching. Daddy.